you made the argument that this was standard practice. Uh, I know from personal experience, it's not standard practice. And I know from every woman that has ever spoken, being in these industries is not standard practice. But you are right in a way. You just don't realize how you're correct. In a way, what he's doing is standard practice. It is incredibly standard practice for pimping. And if you watch any interviews with a pimp, if you watch the terminology that Andrew Tate uses, if you see the entire guide that he had on his Cobra PhD website that's now taken down, that I've linked to an internet archive of, if you read any of the statements there, that is a guide on how to pimp. Terminology that he uses like bottom the idea of bringing in one woman to lure another woman in to work for you, the idea of having women that think that you're part of a relationship with you and then moving into another country to trafficking. All of that is standard practice, but it's standard practice for pimping. So you don't have any examples of any studios anywhere that do um, their content like this, despite you saying it's standard practice and that you imagine it. So I don't know why you're imagining about that sounds like it would be haram or something. Um, but yeah, the idea that this is standard practice, you can't think of anybody that does it. I know that that's not true. Um, I just named you like three or four different organizations that have women that do this that aren't managed in that way. And everything you're saying is standard practice, but it's standard practice in regards to pimping. Yeah, I mean, I just find it funny how you mentioned like two main companies and uh, one of them was involved in a major scandal of uh, violations of ethics. It and had law. nothing to do with traffic. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Uh, also, there are many the people. There are many people who complain about being exploited by Pornhub. You can just Google it. I was exploited by Pornhub, and these are quote unquote independent creators. Like just Google someone like Mia uh, Khalifa, who says that uh, I was exploited by Pornhub. Uh, so there's plenty of testimony from these former actresses who say that I was exploited by these companies. Did any of them so, say that they were moved to another country and forced to work in a basement? Or they were there... said they were exploited. They said that they were coerced. They said that they didn't know. They were preyed upon by these companies. Yeah, preyed upon or coerced those, how? All of those statements. Ask them. They're saying that they well, were- Well, you're the one citing them, so I'm business. asking you. They were promised. They were promised all kinds of celebrity status and all kinds of riches. They were lured into the pornographic in industry at a young age at 18 years old and they didn't know better and they are uh arguing that these companies are all exploitative okay so um so yeah. we have we just have nothing on andrew tate do you think that sex trafficking is even real is that like a real crime ever yeah it's real if you if you go grab someone off the street and you put them in a truck and you drive them to mexico and you sell them into slave sex uh -huh. slavery where they're chained to a radiator yeah that's that's human trafficking but having by uh Offering someone a position in a lucrative business, I think it's haram. I think it's completely immoral. I disavow cam uh, girl business or pornography. But if you, but according to Western law, there's not that's not considered human trafficking. That's not illegal. It's only when you start uh, broadening the definition of what constitutes fraud and what constitutes coercion. Like, oh, you said that you would marry him, her, but you didn't marry her, so therefore you sex trafficked her. Like, this is the kind of evidence, quote unquote, that you have against Andrew Tate. Well, no, my evidence is him giving a guide. We can watch another clip if you want about how he talks yeah, about he's how he's giving he a guide about his cam business. Like that's standard practice for standard his practice cam for businesses. pimping. What you said earlier was is not pornography true. not pimping. No, is pornography no. not pimping? Because you're not <laughs> lying or deceiving or coercing the women into it. If you are, then it could be there a form plenty of pimping. Of but honest pimps. saying that there <laughs> there can be honest pimps. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And thankfully, yeah. even in the remaining so criminal code, saying, even if somebody that you have pimped has said you're not pimping, that has no impact on whether or not you get charged with sex trafficking or not. You said earlier that it was standard. Practice. You said it was standard pimping, practice in business to deceive or lie to your employees or to lie about other things. That's not standard no, practice in business I said either. There's a veil of dishonesty. There is not there's a veil, a veil of, of dishonesty. dishonesty. That's not true. And depending on how you lie, you can get prosecuted for that. I don't know what you mean by veil of dishonesty. And whatever veil of dishonesty you think you can come up with, by the way, if you were to fire an employee for discussing wages with another employee, pretty sure you can get, or I'm sorry, you can get in big trouble for that. Um, if you want to talk about like a veil of dishonesty, that's fine that maybe they aren't completely forthcoming with some things, but that's far different than saying that I bring a woman intentionally to deceive the other woman in order to get her to work a sex business for me. I don't know how there's, I don't know what world you can live in where so you, you listen to these women. That. These women are coming to his, they, first of all, Andrew Tate is inviting them to come to Romania. They don't know who Andrew Tate is. They don't know that he's a multimillionaire. They don't know how he's got his money. He, they don't know his involvement with other women because he's posting about it constantly on his social media. They go to Romania, they see a house with 70 women and they don't realize, oh, I wonder what's going on here. 
Uh, this is, what is this? Oh my God, I'm completely surprised. You, you fooled me, Andrew, about the nature of your living and how you live your life. Like that's the kind of naivete that you think that women No, it's have. not naivete like they're, they're at all. So, they're like childlike, mm. no. uh, ignorant, naive. They can't even make mm -hmm. these kinds of basic conclusions that any normal person would be, immediately be able to understand. And anyway, when they get to Romania, they can leave. He's not chaining them up. He's not locking them up. You're saying, you could say that, oh, he took their passport. Okay, just go out in the street. You don't know the language, so what? Just you're a beautiful young woman. Say, oh, help me, help me, help me, help me. You don't think people in Romania care enough to help about help someone who is asking for their help and, and screaming that, oh, I'm being held against my will. Please help me. Like, this is just so implausible, like this kind of Yeah, so none of this painting. is implausible. So when you say that, like, they just show up and they see 70 women, that's not how it works. Who they're allowed to see, where they're allowed to go, who they're allowed to hang out with is all incredibly carefully controlled for. We know this because there were logs leaked by the prosecution that shows Andrew Tate talking to Vivian, um, telling her, like, hey, show this girl to this place, take this girl to this area. Um, we know this because in Tristan's God Mode podcast, he talks about how you can have five, six, seven, and eight different women at the same time by scheduling different times of the day to be with them so that every single one of them uh, feels like they're special and unique to you. He's got a whole podcast. We watched the entire thing where he gives tips on how to manage multiple women at the same time. Um, and we know that there were explicit threats made that if women weren't making enough money for them, one was Andrew Tate saying that um, he, that somebody would be thrown out the window. Um, another claim was another woman tried to leave and they said, you're not allowed to leave this place ever unless you go with either Vivian or one of the two security that are here. So no, women were forced to be there. We've got a third party. I can't verify that, but how a third party- that force? Where was the force? All you mentioned is like deception. All you mentioned the force is, is the force is force somebody saying that the, the force is that you're not allowed to leave the house or else you're gonna we're gonna throw you out of the balcony. Or the force is that like you. Where, where is that? Where's the proof of that? Where did Andrew Tate say you're not allowed to leave the house? Otherwise, we're gonna throw you the, off the balcony. That's like a, a threat of you know, assault and possibly homicide. Sure. So in one of the hold on, let me find. I can find the balcony quote if you want. So while you're looking for that, um, you can look at the dailybeast.com sexual coercion epidemic in exploitation, coercion. What does and any of this have to do with the what we're talking? Yeah, what does an article about have to do with the cam business? We're not you're talking right, about we're point. not talking about the cam business. Talking, yeah, we're not talking about no, all. we're not. You're we're not talking about the camp business either. We're talking about Andrew Tate me. and sex trafficking. So here was you one of the me. conversations that were recorded. Um, this has to do with the police woman that was arrested alongside the Tate brothers, and it has to do with another woman that was doing work for them. Um, <clears throat> let's see. RL is the police, uh, police woman. You're free tonight to sleep. Do not waste time um, so that you can be rested for tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday for the weekend. Uh, the other woman, not the one, not the victim, but the another one of the pimp helpers is, so clearly there is no longer a problem with recovery. And then the victim says, you mean, but I didn't say I'm not going in today at all. And then the policewoman says, well, how much do you have to recover so far? Don't lie to me because you didn't do anything today. And then Andrew Tate says, did you tell the new hooker that you made a lot of money? Um, the second part of this conversation is, um, they talk what about- is this from, a video or a uh, these report? are logs that have been released from the prosecution. I can go ahead and link you this right here if you want. Yeah, so logs are not this kind of these kinds of logs are highly selective. We have to see the entire context of the conversations that are happening. You can't just take a quote from a WhatsApp message and say that, oh, this is evidence that he is threatening assault and Okay, so when he says, um, so one of the statements by the police ladies was punch yourself in the mouth until I arrive because then I'll give you another 10, you incurable slacker. I'm going to break you when I get there. The victim says, what did I do? She says, you have one hour and 10 minutes to disappear. But what did I do? Better said, what did you do yesterday for an hour? You're 20% down four days since you posted. And then the other, another lady says, I'm waiting for the money from yesterday. And then the police lady says, if Andrew looks to see if you've posted TikToks, you don't have time to pack. You're flying off the balcony straight away. So the police woman said that. Yes. So Andrew Tate did not say that. They're all part of the same criminal enterprise. <laughs> the and, yes, the police woman, woman that part works. Of the <laughs> criminal enterprise. You. You're, you're quoting the police woman. The police woman said, "You better pack up, otherwise, otherwise he's going to throw you off the balcony." Oh, you haven't. You don't know anything about this case at all. Police woman is one of the people arrested. You don't even know who was arrested with Andrew Tate. You have no idea what you're talking about. Are Holy you? Shit. I just realized that. I'm sorry. I can't even tell if you're talking about the police, a police oh, report, or what. Never mind. You're just reading a line. I don't know what it's from. You asked me to read the and, logs, and but I just realized you I don't even you, know who was arrested to, with the person. I asked you to never show mind. me the I'm proof good. of I Andrew I did show you the proof. I literally linked you the thing right here. You said right that policewoman said it, not Andrew Tate. <sighs> no, they're all part of the same criminal enterprise, though. That's part of what they're being charged for.
was the criminal organization. Was about Andrew Tate, right? That's what you keep referring to. We're talking about the Andrew debate Tate. is about Andrew, Andrew Tate, Tate and Andrew, sex trafficking. Yeah, okay. Sex trafficking. Sex trafficking typically requires an organization to do it. This is Andrew Tate's organization. There are other logs that show the hierarchy of said organization and how these women report to Andrew Tate. We can go over those logs as well. But I don't think you're familiar with any of these things. <laughs> like, no, all you're doing is citing. Uh, I don't know where these documents are coming from. They're where logs, leaked chat logs, from. leaked from the prosecution. Yeah, the prosecution. Wow, I wonder, you know, if they're giving the entirety of this, these messages, entirety of these uh, statements that are being made. How can you take the what the prosecution selectively decides to leak as evidence, close cut case that Andrew Tate is threatening his girl to throw girls off of balconies if they don't? If because they I'm combining house. it with everything else I've heard so far. I'm combining well, I, it with I'm Andrew and Tristan's own testimony. Everything I've heard. I've com I'm combining it with everything I've heard thus far, and it's not evidence. It's not compelling to me that this is proof that he is engaged in any I agree. Kind of it's coercion. not 100% compelling. That's why we wait for the trial. But based on everything that's been released so far, seems okay, pretty no, we bad. Agree. We no, agree we absolutely are... don't agree. You don't even know the facts of the case. We can't yeah, possibly do. you, agree. You don't, even, you don't even know how the U.S. is involved in this case. <laughs> you haven't been able to tell me either. All you're saying yes, is that the I United have. States funds uh, organizations that fight sex trafficking abroad? Yeah, no, sh no. Sherlock Holmes. That's the most no. obvious thing <laughs> in the world. Like, yeah, United duh. States. I appreciate that, Destiny. All right, bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.